Today we're going to be looking at a pretty interesting plush set made for, well, a pretty interesting game. Shout out to Yoshi 1837 for giving me this video idea and with that said, welcome to a look at the Takara Yoshi Safari plush set. This plush set was released in 1994 for the game Yoshi Safari by the company Takara. These plushes were only available in UFO catchers in Japan. So, since of their exclusive release, they have become pretty rare over the year and they're quite hard to find, especially in good condition. So with that said, let's move on to the first plush in this set being the Mario in this set. Now, this is actually a pretty unique Mario plush since it's holding a super scope. In the game Yoshi Safari, it was one of the only games to use the super scope, so the Mario plush actually has a super scope, which is a really unique feature. I'm glad that Takara added it. And one thing that makes this already super cool feature even cooler is that it could actually shoot out of the gun. Inside the gun there is plastic that I could shoot at when you squeeze Mario's chest. But sadly over the years a lot of these plushes have lost that feature due to these plushes being old and them wearing out. So it is extremely rare to see any of these Mario plushes able to actually shoot the super scope. I actually wasn't able to find any footage of a working super scope on this plush. I was only able to find this one image of somebody holding the thing that was in the super scope gun so it doesn't even work. So your chances of finding a working Mario plush is extremely rare and you're basically impossible. Overall the rest of the plush is pretty good except that some details are made out of felt that could get damaged and fall off pretty easily over the years. Since the mustache and emblem on his hat are made out of felt, you can see on this Mario plush the glue wore out and the details fell off, which is another bad thing about these plushes not holding up. The eyes on this plush are only iron on, so they could also get cracked and get discolored over the years. So yeah, it seems like a lot of details on this Mario plush could get really damaged and just fall off over the years, so that's not really good. One good thing that Takari did with his plush though is that they put cardboard in Mario's feet so that he could stand up somewhat well at least. But yeah, even though this plush could fall apart easily, it's still a really good plush and one of the most unique Mario plushes made for any set. If you want this plush, I would recommend looking on eBay, Macari, or Yahoo Japan auctions and it's extremely rare to find one in mint condition, especially one with a working super scope, so good luck finding a mint condition one. Now let's move on to the next plush in the set, which is the Yoshi. Now, just like the Super Scope on the Mario plush, his tongue could actually stick out. Basically, for this thing to kind of like go out of his mouth, you would have to squeeze the Yoshi plush, but once again, just like the Mario, these have broken over the years and most of them don't work anymore. Also, you can see on this Yoshi plush, some of the plastic pieces have just completely fallen off instead of just not working, they've just fallen off. Just like the Mario plush, his eyes are also iron-on so he could get discolored and cracked. It seems like Takara had a really tough time with this set not falling apart over the years. It seems like they were just kind of made and just hoped to last for a few years. And I don't really think Takara thought of the long run for these plushes, obviously. And just like Mario, the one really good thing about this plush that has held up is the cardboard in his feet making him stand easier, which is a really nice detail from Takara to add. Once again, if you want to find a working Yoshi plush, it's basically impossible due to most of them being broken and being very hard to find a working one, but I recommend you look on eBay, Macari, or Yahoo Japan auctions. Now let's move on to one of the most unique parts of the whole set being the first set to have the Koopalings F plushes, starting with Larry. Now, just like the Mario and Yoshi, this plush has a lot of details that could fall apart. Larry is supposed to have four felt teeth, but as you can see in some of these images, Larry is missing some of his teeth due to the glue just failing over the years and just having the teeth fall off. The two nose pieces are also made out of felt, so those could easily fall off too. The eyes on this plush are once again iron, so they could get discolored and cracked. Now, one of the most unique parts about this plush is that it actually uses like a different material for the hair instead of just using a plush material like other companies would in the future like Sine. I really like the hair on this plush, and I'm glad Takara took the time to actually get this different material instead of just using normal plush material. It's a really nice detail from Takara. The cuffs around Larry's arms are also made out of felt, but they stand up pretty well and actually are one of the best parts about this plush as they look nice and also they stay well over the years and don't really get damaged as I've seen in photos. His feet also have cardboard in them to make him stand easier, which is a really nice detail. Now, by far the worst part about these Koopaling plushes is the shells on them. They could get damaged super, super easily. 
So for some reason, instead of making the shells out of a plush material, Takara decided it would be a good idea to make them out of a plastic material that could easily crack and get damaged. As you can see on this 1D plush which we'll be looking at next, the shell is completely destroyed and there are tons of Larry plushes and the rest of the Kooplings in the set that have these destroyed and cracked shells. I really wish Sakara made these plushes with a different material on the shell, but yeah, they didn't, so this is a really bad part about the plush. But if you want to find a Larry in mint condition with a non-cracked shell, it will be very difficult, but I would recommend looking on eBay, Macari, or Yahoo Japan for this, but it's very rare to find a mint condition one, especially with the tag still on it and the good condition shell. Now let's move on to the next hoopling in the set being Wendy. Just like the Larry plush, the two nose pieces could fall off because they were poorly glued and they could just fall off over the years, and same thing with the eyes, they could get cracked and discolored over the years. Now another unique thing about the Takara plushes is that on this plush they actually use actual beads for the necklace instead of just using it with plush and material like future companies would. Takara actually took the time to make a nicely detailed necklace with actual beads which is a really nice detail from Takara but also once again just like the shells it was a bad decision overall because they could get easily damaged and destroyed. And a lot of the times when you find this Wendy plush it'll be missing the necklace altogether. And it's very hard to find pictures of this with the necklace on it because most of them have fallen off or getting damaged over the years. And just like Larry, the shells could get destroyed over the years because they're made out of plastic and they could get cracked super easily. Also, here's a picture that I found of Wendy just completely missing the shell, which is another bad thing about it. Like, they were poorly put on so they could just fall off over the years. But overall, this is still a pretty nice plush, just like the, all the others in this set. Just like the others, recommend looking on eBay, Macari, or Yahoo Japan for this plush. Now let's move on to the final coupling in the set being Morton. Now Morton has the same problem as Larry's teeth, which his teeth could fall off over the years due to them being poorly glued on, and same with the nose piece, and same with the eyes being able to be chipped and discolored. Also, something I noticed about this Morin plush is that it seems Takara didn't really do a good job with the star on his face putting it down to his mouth. On this picture that I'm putting on the screen right now, you can see that it's kind of just like off-centered to the star on its face. It's just kind of a weird detail that Takara just kind of messed up. Also, the little bit of hair he has on his head could fall off because it's made out of felt, so I'd be careful with that. And as of all the other couplings in this set, once again, the shell is made out of a plastic material. It could fall off or get cracked pretty easily, so be careful with that. And it's very hard finding a mint condition one. If you want this plush, look on Makari, eBay, or Yahoo Japan. And let's move on to the final plush in the set being Bowser. Now, a detail I really like about this Bowser is that he uses the exact same hair as Larry instead of just making out of a plush material like other plushes do. I really like this extra detail. I think it just looks better than instead of having just normal plush material on, in my opinion. The eyes could get cracked and discolored over the years, and the nose and teeth could also fall off due to having poor glue on them. Now, this Bowser plush is in a really weird pose for some reason, holding his hands up in the air instead of just having them down normally by his side. He also wears the same gray cuss on his arms just like the other Koopalings did. Once again, he has cardboard in his feet to make him stand up better, and also he uses the exact same type of shell as the Koopalings did, so once again, it could get cracked or even fall off. And it seems that Bowser may be the rarest in the whole set because I was barely able to find any listings or any images of him so I'm guessing that he might be the rarest in the set because I could barely find anything about him. He seems to be the rarest in the set so if you want him though look on eBay, Macari, or Yahoo Japan and yeah which plush in the set was your favorite? Comment that down below. Mine was probably the Mario just because of the unique super scope on it. And yeah comment your favorite down below and yeah have a great day.